Today I'm going to show you how to change a valve stem on a tire. This is a brand new tire that I mounted to this rim. I never seen this happen before. The other night I was putting air in this tire, put the tire gauge on it, the pressure was still low. Put more air in there, put the tire gauge back on it, and it was still only reading 30, 32 pounds, 33 pounds. As I removed the tire gauge, the whole inside of this valve shot out. I've never seen or heard of this happening before. Maybe some of you out there have seen it or heard of it. I'm just letting you know to be careful when you put an air in your tire, stand to the side. Because this thing shot out, it was like a bullet when it came out. I was lucky it didn't hit me. But anyway, back to the topic. The bead on this tire is already set. So I have to break the bead again to get this remaining part of the valve out and to put the new valve in. I'm going to go pick up a valve now. And when I come back, I'll show you the process. To get that new valve in, we have to take this valve out. To get it out, I have to break this bead again. <laughs> I just reset it. But I, and we have to break this bead so we can get in behind the rim. This should go a little easier than the old tire that I had to take off. Let's see where we are. I'm gonna have to put this camera down. Okay. Now I have the tire. Oh. The whole bead went. I was trying to do it without breaking this bead off completely, but it came off real quick. So this has, this piece has to come out. Could you see back here? To get this out now, I'm going to get a razor blade. I'm just going to cut it. And I'm going to put this camera down before I finish because I don't want that dropping into the tire. There we go. With, a, with the razor blade, this cut off real easy. Now with a pair of pliers, vice grips, whatever you have, just gonna pull it out. It should come right out. And there we go. Now, we'll clean this up a little bit and we'll install the new one. I'm back with the valve, they come in a pack of two. Now, if you don't know what size to get, because they are different sizes. There's a hammer. When you cut the old valve out, take it with you. There are numbers on the back of it. If you can't read the numbers, you can still match them up to the valve that you're picking up. You want to get the right size valve, otherwise it won't seal right. So you need the new valve. You do need a tool like this. I have a link to this posted down in the description and also they have other tools that if you do this often they're a little easier to use than this one's a handle where you latch onto the valve and pull it and one's a cable where you pull it out and you'll see how this works in a minute and let me open this up uh, i'm working outside and it's cold out here it's right now it's 27 degrees and if it wasn't that I need this tire for tomorrow, I wouldn't be doing this right now. So you get your valve out. Take your cap off. All right. I'll be away from the camera, so I'm hoping this picks it all up. You want to make sure the hole that it goes through is cleaned and it doesn't have any corrosion you want to lubricate this and it's recommended that you don't lubricate it with oil i have soapy water in here but it was left outside so this is frozen solid so i'm just going to put some straight soap on it just to lubricate it to help it pull through and this soap will also help it to seal push down 
pulling up. Now, here's where that tool comes in. This tool gets screwed on. It's one of the uses for this tool. Get it all the way on. And you can either pull it straight up. If you're having a little difficulty pulling it straight up, you can put a string on it, a piece of twine, and pull it that way to give yourself a little bit more leverage. Let's see now. Just pull it straight up. And there you go. It's in. It was that easy. That's in. It's seated. Let me get the camera back here. See if you get a better view of this. Lifting it up. And there it is, it's seated in there. That's all there is put in the valve in. Now the biggest job is gonna to be to seal this again. When I sealed it the first time, I used the old spray and uh, match trick, which I do not recommend, and I will not be showing that online. It's uh, not the safest way to go, but we'll see if this is gonna seal now. Note of caution, when I was filling this up, the old one, checked with the tire gauge, it was only at 30 pounds of pressure. I put more air in it, checked it again, it was at 33. This tire calls for 44, I believe, 44 pounds of pressure. I'm just pointing this out. I've never seen it happen before, but the Schrader valve and the whole inside of this just shot right out, and it was at low pressure. I'm just pointing that out to you, so if you're filling this up and you're working on these, don't stand directly in front of it, stand off to the side. Again, been playing with tires for years. I've never seen it happen, but it only takes that one time. Well, that's a wrap. If you found this video useful or have any comments, post them down below. Be sure to give it a like. It does help. And until next time, stay safe and stay well.